Howdy y'all. I'm going to demonstrate how to modify my shaded filament chip design file in Fusion 360. We're going to start first by opening up the design in Fusion. And once you've done that, we're going to expand the sketches and double click on the text sketch to edit. From here, while the sketch is being edited, you can double click again on the actual text within the sketch to open the edit text dialog box. And then from here, you're going to input the filament type, the manufacturer, in this case for me, it's Amazon Basics, and the color. And then click OK and finish the sketch. You'll see that by editing the sketch, you edit core aspects of features within the timeline at the bottom that create the extruded objects and the cavity needed to print this multicolored print. Now we're going to export the meshes for printing by right clicking on each of the components over to the left and select save as mesh. Ensure that these are the settings that you have within your file and click OK. Then navigate to the folder that you want to store this in. I'm going to create a new folder and then just save this file here. And we'll do the same for each of the remaining components. Now that that's been accomplished, we'll move over to Prusa Slicer. From here, you're going to click Add. Again, navigate to the folder you just created. Press Control A to select all or drag until you've selected each of the components that you want to work with and click Open. Now Prusa automatically detects that this is going to be a single object having multiple parts and it's asking you if this is true. And you're gonna click yes because we don't want them to be printed as individual objects. Now once this is loaded, you can change the colors. And I left this text as a separate object because sometimes you're gonna be printing darker or lighter filaments, and you need the flexibility to change this between either black or white. And so that's why it is a separate component. And so here, I'm going to change mine to white so that you can see it. And because I have a textured sheet, I want to print this face down so that I don't have any layer lines and I get a good squish. And then from there, you should be able to print. So thanks for downloading, and I hope you find these files to be useful. Uh, please let me know if you want me to demonstrate or provide a tutorial for anything else. But until then, this has been the same name twice, and uh, you guys have a good day.